Gordon, Rick Roberts, you're in the court of public opinion from Ensenada, Mexico, all the way to Seattle. Glad to have the entire West Coast along for the morning drive, coast to coast, via the web. Thank you so much. Um, look, I'm going to lay this out for you. If, if it makes you mad, I'm such you turn the radio off, then so be it. It's not, it's not in my best interest to lose listeners, uh, but there's certain things that I cannot not underscore um, vacillate on, and I can't reject. I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, I believe in the Holy Spirit. I, I'm not the poster boy for the Christian theology. God knows that. I do my best. And at some point in your life, you got to draw the line and say, okay, that's enough. You know, I started Amber's Alert on my show in Dallas, Texas. We saved the cross atop Mount Soledad here in, uh, with your help in San Diego. We were able to get Jessica's Law started uh, in one of the last states in the nation. All of that I felt good about. I felt, okay, we're making a difference behind the microphone. We were able to adopt the seniors that couldn't pay for their electricity bills when California tried to screw them. Uh, you did that. You adopted this. I felt good about that. We rebuilt the black churches in Texas after they were torched. I felt good about that. Every day I come on here, we do something. Uh, sometimes it's uh, very minimal. Sometimes it has impact. But this is the last straw for me. This is it. You take Da Vinci's painting of the Last Supper, you replace Christ and the Apostles with Leather Boys, S&M Leather Boys, you replace the bread and the wine representing the body and the blood of Jesus Christ with leather toys, phallic symbols, leather fist, and so on, and then you use that to promote what I consider a pervert event in public, funded with taxpayer dollars Paying Police, and Miller Brewing Company, the national sponsor. That's where I draw the line. And in recent events here in San Diego, in America's finest city, or it used to be, the mayor said when he was campaigning he would not he would not support same-sex marriage, and then he turns around and says, oh, well, my daughter is a lesbian, and now I'm going to have to change my position. Well, if you're changing your mind, the voters ought to be able to change their mind. You need to step down immediately. The city council, Tony Atkins, openly gay. I don't care whether you're gay or not. At the end of the day, I don't lose any sleep one way or the other. You're there to serve the public, not to further your own private agenda. With us this morning is Matt Barber, Policy Director of Concerned Women for America. He's very, very knowledgeable about this uh, Folsom Street Fair in San Francisco. And, of course, we have our own gay, lesbian, transgender, best-of-breed tricycle parade, whatever it is, here in San Diego. And we're a whisper away from becoming San Francisco. I don't want that to happen. I don't think the majority of you want that to happen. And, Matt, uh, you may uh, have watched Hannity and Combs, our good friend Sean Hannity that uh, was just in town not too long ago. Uh, he was on Sean's uh, Hannity and Combs. Uh, Matt Barber is with me. Good morning, Matt. How are you? Good morning, Rick. Thanks for having me on. Uh, all right. Um, in a nutshell, give me the overview of uh, of the perversion playing itself out in the streets, not behind closed doors, but in the streets in San Francisco. Yeah, well, you've done a great job of, of uh, in, encapsulating the, the picture itself, this offensive portrayal, disgusting portrayal of The Last Supper. Um, the, the, it, the parade or the fair that it advertises is really nothing short of a, a little mini Sodom and Gomorrah wrapped up in a gay pride event. Uh, the city of San Francisco, people need to understand, they, they sanction this event. They facilitate this. They provide police officers at taxpayer expense, work city workers to clean up, to set up the barricades, to do everything uh, for this event. Somewhere between, and I've read accounts of two to 400,000 people attend this, and the, the most most unimaginable and vile acts of debauchery are commonplace uh, during this fair. Uh, people are, are crawling the streets, uh, gays and lesbians, many of them fully and completely nude. And uh, and I've seen the pictures and the videos. I, we have all the evidence right out in public in broad daylight it, having sex, even group orgies. with, with uh, and, and here's what's most troubling about this. They allow kids in here with parents, with strollers, and with kids. I mean, that's abuse. That's child abuse to have kids subjected to this. But uh, the fact that the city, the police officers stand there and turn the, uh, you know, turn around or, or, or actually stand there and watch this and allow it to happen without doing anything is, is despicable. It's sexual anarchy. And they, they, they essentially suspend the, the indecency laws in the state. And you contrast this with what just happened with Senator Larry Craig. And, you know, he gets arrested for allegedly soliciting gay sex with an undercover police officer. Here you have it. 
being facilitated by the city of San Francisco occurring on the streets in mass uh, uh, at taxpayer expense, at least in part. It's disgusting. Well, you know, I have never claimed to be the God Hour. I believe in God, and if asked, I'll give you my opinion on it. Uh, but I have just about had it. I have just about had it uh, with the Christians in this country becoming the politically correct targets for every uh, knucklehead out there. Uh, I know Miller Brewing Company has pulled ads that were offensive to Muslims, attorneys, uh, women's rights groups, blacks, Hispanics, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Why, why, why not Christians? Are we just expected to turn the other cheek? I don't mind telling you, Matt, I'm out of cheeks to turn. Yeah. I'm, I've drawn the line in the sand. I'm ready for a fight. Uh, Matt Barber is with me, the policy director of Concerned Women for America. Uh, you know, none of this is going to change because the power truly rests with the people. And if you're ready for a fight, they've brought it to you. Now, what are you going to do about it? just got this in from Cybercast News Service. The Miller Brewing Company, sponsor of this weekend's homosexual leather street fair in San Francisco, has asked in the last hour to have its logo removed from an advertising poster that has offended some Christians. And I'm reading from Cybercast, while Miller has supported the Folsom Street Fair for several years, we take exception to the poster the organizing committee developed this year. We understand some individuals may find the imagery offensive, <laughs> you think, and we have asked the organizers to remove our logo from the poster effective immediately, the company said. The group behind the ad said it was not intended to be either pro-religion or anti-religion, but... The poster, a parody of Leonardo da Vinci's painting of The Last Supper, continues to draw fire from Christian organizations on Tuesday. The ad is promoting the Folsom Street Fair in San Francisco, essentially a multi-city block party for homosexuals. It shows a group of men and women scantily clad at a long table laden with sex toys and a sadomasochistic implement, um, or implements, plural. Uh, well, I suppose that's something. I didn't hear anything in there about pulling uh, their advertising dollar, but they did uh, want their logo taken off, sort of, we'll support you, but don't tell anybody. I don't know if that's the case or not. Matt, do you know? Well, it sure sounds to me like they're just trying to placate uh, Christians uh, by asking the organizers of the event to pull the ad. I didn't hear anything in there about, or to pull their logo from the ad. Right. I didn't th hear anything about them pulling their sponsorship of the event, and that's what they need to do. And, and to, to, it's really insulting that... Uh, that they would just try to, you know, throw this bone out there to, to try to placate uh, Christians. No, that's not going to cut it. They need to pull their support of this event, period. Yeah, I absolutely 100% agree. And, Christine, uh, continue to uh, to persevere, if you will. I appreciate that uh, that breaking information. I want to know if they're uh, suspending their, their uh, sponsorship dollar. That's what I want to know. Uh, you know, I'm sick and tired as a Christian of being... Uh, treated like a five-year-old. Uh, well, they'll take anything. They'll take anything. They'll take anything. Now, the blacks won't. The Hispanics won't. The women won't. Uh, the uh, the ACOU won't. The gays won't. But the Christians, yeah, well, you know the Christians. They're always going to be around there. They foot the bill, and we'll, uh, yeah, they, they'll turn the other cheek. Matt, I don't know about you, but I, I'm tired of the whole thing. Oh, I, I couldn't agree more. And, you know, we've also asked uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Governor Schwarzenegger, Senators Feinstein and Boxer to publicly condemn this. I, we, it's the mum is, is uh, the word, you know, out of out of their office. I mean, th this is a huge event in San Francisco. And, and uh, Governor uh, Newsom there actually has a full paid ad uh, for the event telling everyone to have a great and fun day and what a wonderful event this thing is. I already described it in your last segment. It's mini Sodom and Gomorrah wrapped up as some kind of gay pride event. Uh, what, what goes on there? And I, I've challenged uh, the media last night on Hannity and Combs. I challenged Fox News, and if anybody's going to do it, they're really the only ones with the guts to do it, to, to go there with cameras in hand and to capture. There's an amazing news story here about what's what's taxpayer dollars are paying for in the streets uh, on America here and what our government is, is allowing to happen, if not facilitating. They need to cover this to actually show what these depraved individuals are engaging in on, on the streets of San Francisco. Well, Matt, I, I second that. As a matter of fact, we're sending one of uh, my assistant producers um, uh, with a video cam uh, up on a commuter flight. Uh, we're going to put what we can, what we're legally able to, on a website that is viewed by millions every day. And I, uh, I just encourage all the news networks, if they can get off their politically correct soapbox, tell the people the truth. I mean, it's their money. What is, what is their money going towards? And you can see it. I mean, if you go to FolsomStreetFair.org, and I've encouraged my listeners to go there if there's no kids around, just that alone, just that alone ought to shock you into reality. I tell you what, Matt...
Uh, Christine, see if Matt can stay with me for one brief couple minute segment. I want to find out more about the the, uh, the Concerned Women for America. We'll give that contact information out and take your calls next. In the court of public opinion, I'm sorry, you may not have tuned in for a fight, but the fight was, uh, the fight was brought to you. Now, what are you going to do? My, uh, my guest in your calls next.